Bernie, Bernie, no, it won't be any inconvenience at all, not at all. What? What won't be what? Uh, what? No, we can, oh, no, the 12, 12 bottles, a dozen, that, that's fine with me. Great, sure. But, but just, Lucy, what are you doing? Don't, don't yes, sell I, anything that we can't, get, get off doing? my get back, off get off my, no, no, I didn't mean get off, no, my cat, Bernie, is on my back. That's, listen, um, we won't have a problem delivering at all. You know what they say, what's good for Wyndham's is good for deception. There you go. There's that wonderful little tinkling laugh of yours. I love your sense of humor, but... Right. I will have my people call your people, and my people will deliver them to your people. Right. Okay. Ta. Ta. <laughs> ah, give me that. What people? We haven't got any people. What are you delivering something that we can't deliver in the first place for? When What's wrong with you? Wants 12 bottles. I don't see that as being any big deal. It is a big deal. We cannot deliver perfume that we can't even make. Right? Listen, Dr. Despair. Do you really think I'd tell him that if I didn't have a plan? I have a plan. I was afraid you were going to say that. But let me just get something straight with you right now. I am the idea man. You are the legs. Did <sighs> you say anything? Yeah, he's in bed. Where'd you think he'd be? I was hoping he would be up running around. In which case, he wouldn't have to be in the hospital. All right, nurses. Go tend to the needy. <laughs> really? <laughs> what, does this guy attract the crowd or what? Actually, I had the same problem at his age. Yeah, we're in bedrock. <laughs> hey, Jim. So, guys? Well, you got a little headache. It's going to be there for a while. You have a concussion. <laughs> I feel like a bear blitz hit me. Well, yeah, you're going to be all right, though. Doc, when do I get to go home? Actually, you can leave tonight, but we would like to keep you here a couple more hours for yeah, observation. just to be safe. We'll have a flight here pretty soon. Uh -huh. Hey, Chris. What's up, Jim? You out for the season? <laughs> you know me better than that. It's just a little concussion, that's it. Well, these guys sure will be glad to know that. What's up? Phone's been ringing off the hook. I need some well-wishers. Guy from the sneaker company called. Get well soon. Hope it's not your foot. <laughs> Razor Blade Executive called. Speedy recovery. Tell me they didn't cut your face. Soft drink, Vice President. Sure hope it's not stomach flu. I think we better get out of here. He's probably got an underwear ad coming up. Easy. Yeah. See you later. All right. Take care. See you. What's up, big guy? Let me see those. All those endorsements. Can you imagine if he'd won the Super Bowl? I know. We can really work on that building. Yeah. And that's what surprises me the most, Bill, is that I thought that all these employees were together on this all the way across the board. Well, so did I. I mean, we knew Ned would try to outbid us. That's the only reason I had Marty deliver the bid under the Employees Coalition. The word must have gotten to Miss Barrett that I was behind this. There's no other explanation. I is agree. I, I guess not. No, I would like to know for sure, though. Yeah, so would I. All right, so... Um, excuse well, me, Bill, but did the hospital reach you? hospital what about well not not to worry bobby called and ned and jenny brought sly and he's got tonsillitis oh he didn't make it to the game oh, poor little guy thank you right. yeah, i'm sorry no, I no 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 it's okay <laughs> all right would you just listen to me for will you listen hello 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 yes uh, say that i can Stop. see right from your ear i knew it well, Scott, at least I have a formula in my brain I'm trying to work with. You have nothing. But what makes you think that you're going to make all that perfume with this Mickey Mouse setup? Okay. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to call Wyndham's and say, look, you just want 12 mealy little bottles of perfume. But we're going to let you have 2,000. You ordered them. We can't deliver. Is that what you want me to do? Call them up and say, I can't give you 12. I can't give you anything? Uh, poor single-digit IQ, Lucy. Let's just talk about the 2,000, all right? Now, let's just say... We had a bottling plant, which we don't. There is no way that we could make that deadline. You have sold some rifles to the Indians, and eventually they're going to want the ammo. Look, Scott, if you don't get over here and help me, I'm going to go on the warpath, and I'm going to scalp what little hair you have left on your fat, balding head. I'm just trying to keep your fantasy train on track here. There's no way that you can manufacture this perfume. No way. We're headed for a derailment. Do you understand that? I choose to look at this as a, what, an entrepreneurial adventure. A what? I want you to realize that Apple computers were started in a garage. I've been reading on all this stuff. Why can't I go on Oprah Winfrey when this is all a big success? And I'll be sitting on her chair and she'll be saying, Lucy, Lucy, how did you become such a success? And I'll say, not from any help from you. I don't think I'll even mention your name. 
you risk your neck like that one day? Just put that in writing. Scott, let's just stop running around here and face it. We've had problems. Our whole relationship has been a problem. We have a big problem now. I'll tell you what, I am meeting with Julia later tonight. I will bring this little situation up and see if she has any advice. Julia Barrett might be, you know, a smart businesswoman, but she's not Houdini. Well, I am. Now help, please, just help. Shake this twice and then spin it. Shake it and spin it? Please. Yeah. Please. Julia, you keep your eye out for Dr. Hardy. No, he just chased us away. He didn't say that we couldn't come back. I have a key question here. Mm -hmm. Did it occur to either of you that you're acting just like interns at a wet t-shirt contest? So? Hey. Isn't the adolescent little groupies? Mm. Come on, guys. He's a football player, not a rock star. Do you detect a little jealousy? Mm -hmm. Jealousy? Me? Mm -hmm. Of who? Jim Kelly? Uh -huh. Oh, come on. He can throw a football, sure. But did you guys see me out on the basketball court with him? Yeah, weren't you the one running around with the oxygen mask? <laughs> <laughs> Give me some credit. Do you see that move I put on him? I faked him right out of his shorts, went up for the slam dunk. Kaboom! <laughs> yeah, but you're not allowed to sit on your teammate's shoulders. That's why I didn't pile the basket. Oh, uh, is that the reason? Oh, yeah. Aww. So, can someone show me where I can get some magazines for Jim? I'd be yeah. more than happy to show you. In fact, I'll take you to our gift store. Great. Be Bye. 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 Who wants to tell Aaron he's happily married? You know, from what I hear about Chris Moore, he'll tell us. Okay. <laughs> well, I have a patient to see. Oh, okay. Don't worry. I thought you did very well. You did very good. You can't help but that you chose to be a, a doctor and not an athlete. You know, Sheila, I hope you're not one of these girls who's into this overdeveloped biceps and hamstrings and everything. I am, Dr. Simpson, doing nothing more than exhibiting a healthy curiosity. You just happens to be a celebrity in our midst. Well, that's fine, as long as you don't make a fool out of yourself like Amy. I mean, she's everything but practically drool on the guy. Yes, doctor. You're so wise, doctor. And so mature. I'm so glad I know. I get the point. Yo, Jimbo. I mind we talk a little football? Sure, come on in. So, hey, what happened to uh, Thurman Thomas when he planted his helmet at the beginning of the game? I couldn't find it, but uh, guess what? You know a good trivia question you can use? What? Who started for the Buffalo Bills in the 1992 Super Bowl? Kenny Davis. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> I'm proud of you there. What are you thinking? <laughs> well, uh, I want to go like a whole act. Well, I know you did, Sly, but there will be other games. How well, I can like call you. Yeah, well, that's true. But Jim Kelly or no Jim Kelly, honey, those tonsils are infected. I got to come out? Mm. Hi. Hey. Yes, indeed. Boy. What? Uh, well, not until your infection subsides, that's for sure. So what can I do for you? Oh, well, uh, I saw Audrey, and we were setting up a day for me to come sing for the kids. And I heard that Sly was here, so I thought I would, you know, come in and say, How are you doing, Sly? <laughs> well, it's an honor, Connor. Thanks for coming. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, I see you guys have your own little language going here. <laughs> oh, you know what? By the way, now that you're here, I can tell you that Dominique Taub huh? has volunteered to help in the children's ward. Oh, so maybe you two can coordinate your efforts. What do you think? Great. I'll, uh, I'll give her a call as soon as I, as soon as I can. I'll talk okay. to her about it. And uh, you just hang in there because, you know, tonsils are no big deal. Oh, I know. The only mass is with no tissue between the anterior and posterior pillars of the fossas. Fossa? You learned all that while you were here? Amazing. <laughs> well, thank you, but it happened to come up in the science quiz last week. Well, oh! Room. I heard there was a sick guy in here. Damn! <laughs> I, I knew this morning that that sore throat was more than you were letting on. How is he? Well, he knows he has tonsillitis. Uh -huh. Heck, he could diagram it for you. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I gotta run, but uh, you just hang in there and, and keep thinking, what is that ice cream? Ice cream. What flavor? Mint chip. Mint chip, Mint chip <laughs> always. Thanks, Connor. See ya. <laughs> so, when do they come out? When do they come out? Not until, until the infection subsides. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, we've given him antibiotics, so he should be okay. Well, Sly, what do you think about some of that ice cream? 
That'd be great. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Doctor. All right. Well, I suppose you know that I missed the basketball game. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I heard. Uh, it wouldn't have mattered if it was just any old game. Jim Kelly. Yeah. It's a total disaster. I don't blame you for being disappointed. Well, at least Ned got me this. Huh? Sign. Wow! Oh, and it's signed, too. Autographed. That's so cool. Hey, well, you ought to be a little happier about it, don't you think? I mean, I know guys who would give full use of their right arm for this thing. Yeah, well, I just wanted to ask him this question and everything. I know, Slicer, but I'm sure that uh, he's been asked every question about the Super Bowl that there is. Yeah, I, but not by me. All right, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll get season tickets next year and go to every home game. How's that sound? Dad, next season is seven months from now. <sighs> Give me a break, okay? but we're still waiting for the lab report. All right, let me know as soon as it comes in because the DA is chomping at the bit to file on this one. Oh, well, I'll call the lab now and see if I can light a fire under them. Good. Come in. Oh, hi, Miss Hill. Hi, hi Mrs. Donnelly. <laughs> Quite all right. Oh, sweetheart. Oh, darling. Just what are you doing here, hmm? Well, I was on my way to the station. Mm-hmm. Because I'm doing a little report on the uh, presidential primaries, and mm -hmm. I was thinking I'm going to be working late probably till 9 o'clock, mm -hmm. and I was thinking maybe we could have a little late. Oh, I think I could be talked into something like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, we don't have to stop there. I mean, we could go all the way and go dancing. The Outback, maybe. Oh, yes, and we'd probably run right into Connor, right? Why didn't I think of that? Uh, yeah, why didn't idea. you think That'd of that? You know, honey, honey, I, I appreciate the gesture, but let's not push this thing. I'm sure that uh, Connor and I are very capable of figuring this out on our own. I think you need a little help. Honey... Let me do it my way, my own pace, okay? However, I have been thinking about him lately. Well, that's a good start. Yeah. What have you been thinking about him? Well, <clears throat> not, uh, not that I would interfere in his life or anything like that. It's just that I've been thinking about his future. Mm. I mean, the fact is, here he is in Port Charles, singing in a, in a nightclub, and I think that once he realizes that if you are going to sing at a nightclub, you better own the damn thing. Sounds just like a father to me. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a great idea. Do you have any solutions on how he's going to do this? None whatsoever. I, that's why I didn't talk about it before. Well, honey, at least you were thinking about it, and that mm -hmm. is a step in the right direction. Mm. I'll pick you up at nine. Maybe sooner. Oh, yeah. I, I just sort of think he's got yeah. this thing where he's afraid if the other guys in the hockey team find yeah. out that his dad stayed overnight, they'd think he was a baby. <laughs> well, that's very important at his age. So don't worry, we'll make sure he has plenty of company. Oh, thanks. I'll hang out and make sure he gets to sleep okay. You look like you could use a friend yourself. Are things okay with you? Things are okay. I heard about you and Julia. I'm sorry. Oh, Bobby, I try not to cry over spilled milk. Hello. Hi. How are you, Bill? <laughs> Good to see you. Uh, I understand Sly's a visitor here. Yes, I was just in to visit him. Tonsillitis, huh? No fun for a nine-year-old. Yeah, did that autograph poster ease the pain any? Some, but mm -hmm. he's still disappointed. He had his heart set on a one-to-one -one with Jim Kelly. You know, we are a full-service hospital here. Jim Kelly is a patient. Here? Marty, relax. You did your part. Yeah, I gotta tell you, Mr. Ashton, I just don't feel good about this whole thing. Well, hopefully, um, this will help relieve your pangs of guilt. There's going to be trouble, Mr. Ashton. Not for me, not for, not for the workers. And there won't be any, all right? All you do is just stay on the job and handle business as usual. Now listen, yeah. why don't you um, <clears throat> take it easy tonight. Take your wife out to dinner and remember, relax. Yeah, okay, I, uh, 
Uh, you just have to excuse me for being kind of upset about this. I understand. I understand. Just remember that the best is yet to come, right? Try and remember that. All right. Uh, that's okay. Right. I will. Okay. Cozy arrangement. Huh? Well, well, well. My dear dad. Back so soon. What happened? Did another deal fall through, or did Bill lose another partner? Very funny. You know, listen, I can't determine whether or not it's your ignorance or your stupidity. What, you're going to bring Marty Pfeiffer here for a meeting? I imagine it's a little both, right? Now, what's that supposed to mean? That it makes all the sense in the world now. You bribed Marty into sandbagging our offer for Julius Cannery, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have time to find out. I suggest you make some time. Oh, uh, just uh, some coffee. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Your message said it was an emergency. So what is it? Your honey having another bad hair day? <laughs> no, no. Um, it's not that kind of emergency at all. Well, what exactly is it? It's uh, desperation. Look, you see, we have uh, called, and, and they wanted 2,000 bottles when we met with them in two months, which, you know, I can deliver that, but then they wanted 12 bottles as soon as possible, and I thought, you know what, I can brew these in my room, but then Dr. Despair, dear Scott, said I couldn't possibly stop, do it, and I'm stop, what exactly right. are you talking about? In two sentences, what do you want from me, Lucy? All right, Julia, I want your help. Look, you're a businesswoman, you have a lot of contacts, and right now, I want to get deception off the ground, and you can do that if you help right now. Lucy, you, I'm, you know that I'm in the middle of a big deal. I know that, the stupid cannery. I've heard about it and heard about it. Look, the cannery is, is done. It'll take care of itself. I need you right now. You'll smell a whole lot better if you come with us. And besides, you'll have a lot of free time coming up on your hands. I don't have the free time right now, do I? I have a lot of loose ends that I have to tie up. After that, I will look into it on a sound business basis. Oh, absolutely. Would I have it any other way? <sighs> Would you mind terribly if I asked you something? Probably. Good. Why in the world would you sell that stupid cannery to Ned Ashton after you just bought half of it from Bill. Ned made me an honest proposal. William wouldn't know how. Um, oh. Excuse me for interrupting, but I thought you'd want to know Sly is in the hospital. Oh my God, what? What well, happened? Well, it's, it's his tonsils, and they may oh. have to operate and take them out, but I know how much you love it. Thank you. Thank you. Underhanded? Yes, it was underhanded. Now, what would you call it? You stole the cannery deal from us. I made Julia Barrett a legitimate offer. Obviously, it was more attractive than the one from you and Bill. You know what this sounds like to me, Paul? Like a case of terminal sour grapes. Well, I'm sorry. You know, you might want to try to outgrow that if you want to play with the big boys. Can you deny the fact that Marty was in this house? I heard the whole conversation, I'm Ashton. not going to deny anything. The man works for me. You know, this is really beginning to bore me. I'm out No, 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 we're not finished That's yet. the second time today you laid the coin for me. Stop it better be the last. Stop it. What is going on? Ask your husband. He happens to have a vivid imagination. Try Ned's crooked business deals. Why don't you both try being quiet just for... I've had it with you. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? What? Tracy? Mother, are you all right? Come here. Sit down. Come here. Come here. Mother, we're going to the hospital. All no, right? I'm not going to the hospital. Just let me catch my breath for a minute. Oh, Ned, call Dr. Burston, would you please? I don't know. Could you get it for me as fast as you can, please? Yeah, because we're going to roll on it as soon as we get it. That's what I'm here for. Thank you. Uh, what are we trying that? Um, oh, I know. I wanted to do a little play at the candidate statements, you know, against the uh, Clean the Bay protesters that were out on the steps of the Capitol. Yeah, no problem. I'll put a rough edit together for you. Okay, now let me know as soon as we can screen it, okay? You bet. Thank you, Jimbo. Mm, bye. Hi, Carter. Hey, I got your message. I was over at the hospital. Oh, I'm so glad. Mwah. Oh, at hospital, you still doing all that volunteer work with the pediatric baby? Oh, uh, yeah, the kids love me. I'm very big with kids. Yeah. And uh, now that Holly is helping Mac with the club, I have a little extra time. Ah. So, what's up? Oh, well, I was hoping uh, that maybe if you've got a lot of extra time, uh, it might work. Do you know anything about bumpers and tags and stuff like that? Yeah, musical bumpers, sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, because I was getting ready to renew the contract with the Jingles people mm -hmm. for the station, and I thought before I did that, I'd just kind of run it by you. You mean for me to do it? Well, could you? It would be different. 
So you're interested? Did, um, did Sean put you up to this? Sean doesn't even know I'm talking to him. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I just, you know, I had to ask. Yeah. Well, I know it's been tough for you two guys, but I think it'll get easier with time, don't you? Well, I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. But in the meantime, what about my offer? I mean, I, you can use all the production facilities here, and I have a very reasonable budget on this. Well, it sounds like a new challenge. Well, you certainly don't look like someone who's afraid of a challenge. Well, Tiffany, if you're willing to roll the dice on me, so am I. Yes, great. Thank you for giving me a hug. <laughs> Fine, really. I just, I just couldn't catch my breath for a minute. Well, don't worry. You're going to live a long and healthy life. How about the baby? Your baby's just fine. What do you think happened? Well, are you under any stress? <laughs> are you kidding in this house? Well, if I haven't said this before, let me say it now. Pregnancy at your age, though difficult for some women, can be and should be perfectly fine. However... There's that word again. Stress plays a factor in all pregnancies. Now, all you have to do is be aware of it and avoid it. That's easy. It's easier to avoid taxes. Well, you're a big girl. And if this pregnancy is important to you, you'll do what's necessary. This baby is very important to yes. me. And you will both be fine. Now, I prescribe a good night's sleep. And some classical music. About an hour a day. Couldn't hurt. You're a prince. Yeah. So my patients tell me. One more thing. Could you do me a favor? When you um, see my husband... Could you tell... <laughs> Looking for a little TLC, are we? Well, far be it from me to be a spoiled sport. I appreciate it. Yeah, wait till you see my bill for this house call. <laughs> and how was Sly doing? You're going to take his tonsils. I'm sorry about having to run out on you there at Kelly's. No, 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 it's all right, Bill. Actually, I found out something very interesting when I came home early. What, a shortcut to Grandma's house? No, but I may have found out how Ned uh, beat us out of that cannery deal. I'm listening. You're not going to like this very much, Bill, but I think uh, Marty Pfeiffer sold us out. Marty. That's what I, I figured. I'm going to it right now. The doctor's coming out. Tracy's here. room. Uh, I'll get back to you, all right? Hey, young man, I got some good news for you. Oh, yeah? Follow I can me. use some. Good. Hey, I've been looking for you. Oh. You want to go see a movie or something when you get off work? Why, Dr. Simpson, I am flattered that you would ask someone as lowly and immature as myself, someone so high in nature and level-headed and mature. Look, out. look, the reason I said that was so you two didn't make fools of yourself over some jock, oh, okay? thank you. What oh. I'm saying is Jim Kelly is just an ordinary guy. He pulls his pants on one leg at a time like anybody else. Yeah. It's no big deal. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. yeah. uh, victory. Dr. Simpson, your football from Jim Kelly. Oh. Oh. oh, really? So what was that you were saying, Doctor? Yeah, you I don't hear that. Yeah, I bet that uh, a band club membership card will be in the mail. Oh, yeah, 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 just yeah. Keep yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, this happens to be for, for my mother, okay? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> about this. I just don't like you interfering, that's all. How have I interfered? All I did was offer him a job to do some jingles for the station. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I guess you don't call that interfering, right? Well, correct me if I'm wrong, darling, but I think earlier this evening you were a little concerned about his future. Oh, so you decided to go out there and secure his future for him. I didn't go out This is ridiculous. I offered him a legitimate job, Sean. Uh -huh. Something that he is perfectly capable mm -hmm. of doing. And he probably thought it was my idea. Well, at first he did, yes. He thought you probably had something to do with it, but I assured him that you had nothing to do with it, that it was all my doing. Oh, I see. So what is the harm in all of this? The harm is you are trying to force-feed a situation that cannot be force-fed. Excuse me, Sean, but I think you're overreacting here. I'm beginning to get the idea this has got nothing to do with me and Connor. What do you mean? It's got to do with you. With me? Yeah, you, playing mother. I just lost my appetite. I'm leaving right now. Don't follow me. Before you say something else that I know you're going to regret.
Let me understand this. You've been working like some kind of a stevedore today, and you've come up with one bottle of perfume. Well, it's a lot more than we had this morning, isn't it? Yeah, but Wyndham's wants 12 bottles. Okay, so one down, 11 to go. That's it. Just live in total denial. That's good. Just skip around the block, you know, sing a little song, watch Captain Kangaroo, and when reality comes knocking on the door, just say, I'm not home. This is another one of your awe-inspiring, creative little pep talks, isn't it? No, it's just I want you to understand, okay? We have got to come up with 2,000 bottles in two months. Now, there's no way that you're going to be able to do that with that rinky-dink equipment you got upstairs. Have you ever heard the old saying, if you're not part of the solution, you're definitely part of the problem? You're a big, fat problem. I am part of the solution. As a matter of fact, I happen to be all of the solution. What are you doing? What are you hiding from me? I'm not hiding anything from you. While you've been upstairs playing Mr. Wizard, I've been out there hunting. Hunting? 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 Hunting for what? Uncle Sam's little way of boosting the economy. You know, with all the failures with the savings and loans right now, there happen to be a lot of properties that are available. Gee, that's interesting. What does it have to do with that? Well, would you just listen to me for a second? These properties happen to be, be manufacturing plants, which could also be bottling plants that we could get at a very good price. Cheap. Don't tell me. You're, you're saying that we have one of these? I mean, did you make an offer? We have a production plant? We can go into production? Is that what you're no, saying? No, 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 no. I just got the brochures here. But there's, there's a few of them here that look very interesting. I'm very, very proud of you, you know. I have a little confession to make. When, um, you know, when you were going to get disbarred and when you now had that six-month suspension and all that, I really thought, I don't know, I thought, I thought you might take your selection of combs and pack up your bag of hair products and, and, and just moose your way right out of town. Yeah, well, now that there was a time that I would have moosed my way out of town, you know, with these cockamamie ideas of yours. Well, I just... But I want to say something right now, okay? I think that this is the first time that we might something, have something really going here, I, I think. Are you actually saying that you, you believe in us? What I'm saying is that I believe in something that I haven't believed in in a long time. Santa Claus. I've always believed in Santa Claus. I'm talking about our future. So don't, don't you screw it up. I won't be mad. All right, Sly. This is going to be the last of your medication for tonight. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to... Good guy. All right, how's your throat feeling? Scratchy. Yeah, well, that's natural. You should feel better in the morning. Hey, partner. Oh, hi. Dad. How's he doing? Well, I was just telling him that he'll feel better by morning. But those tonsils are still going to have to come out. Yeah. Well, maybe I can do something to make you feel better. Oh, nice try, Dad. But I missed the basketball game and Jim Kelly. <sighs> Well, I can't do anything about the basketball game, but how about this? Ah! <laughs> you must be Sly. The one I've heard so much about. How you doing? Sly, how you doing? All right. Yeah, I've had that little tonsils problem before. I had some serious pain, but uh, on behalf of Chris and I, and our Buffalo Bills teammates. We want to present you with this game jersey. And make you an honorary member of our special teams. <laughs> wow. Oh, well, I sure wouldn't mind having one of those jerseys. Yeah, well, you'll never get one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, you think that uh, maybe me and Slack can have a minute alone? Please? Sure. No oh, problem with that? Oh, anything for Big Jim Kelly. Appreciate it. All right. See you later, Just Slack. a minute. Uh, just one minute, okay? Uh, oh, no problem. Hey, uh... Sorry you missed the basketball game. It was a good one. Yeah, so am I. Well, um... <laughs> you excited? That's all right. Hey, don't worry about it. That's all part of it. Do yeah. you like the jersey? Yeah, thanks a lot. So, um, what are you doing here? You patient too? Yeah, but I'll tell you what. I don't have the tonsil problem like you do. So, um, pretty cool here at Jim Hospital, huh? Yeah, I tell you what, the people here are pretty cool, and if there's any place you'd rather be, it'd be right here, because these guys are pretty good. Yeah. Mr. Kelly, um, 
Do I have to call you Jim? No problem. Jim, anything you want. Okay, Jim. Well, I was just wondering. I Maybe you've been asked this before, but, um... Look, Sly, I know what you're going to say. What do you do? It's okay. The truth is, and, you know, when you compete, and I know you're, you're thinking about everything, you know, going through your mind, having the jersey and everything, but when you compete, there's so many things that you got to look at, and winning isn't everything, okay? You just got to remember, winning isn't everything. Right. But I'll tell you what, one thing you got to remember, you never can lose your will to win. That's very, very important, okay? Mm -hmm. You can handle that? Yeah, I'll remember okay. that. Now, I know one big question you want to ask is the loss at the Super Bowl. Is that one of them? What happened? Uh, maybe. Maybe? Mm -hmm. Well, losing the Super Bowl, it hurts. So I'll tell you what, when, when you work so hard to get somewhere and you put your mind and everything into it and you don't come out on top, it hurts, but uh, one thing you got to remember is you got to keep on going. You keep, keep plugging, making sure that you can be one of the best, but it takes a lot of hard work. I know that. See, I intend to be wearing one of those Super Bowl rings come this time next year. Well, I'll be rooting for you no matter who you're playing. Thanks. But does that answer your question? Well, not really. See, all I was wondering was who decided that a touchdown should be worth six points? <laughs> Six points. You know something, Slon? I've been wondering that ever since I was in high school, and really, that's a tough one to answer, and I guess I'm going to have to check up on it. I'll let you know. Is that all right? Yeah, you will. I promise. I'll let you know. Tell you what, next year at this time, you come to my next home game, our first home game, put it that way, our first home game, you be there, and I'll let you know then. Deal? Are you kidding? Sure. All right. Well, hopefully that uh, you'll be... Oh. Hey, man. Hey, how's morning, it going? Guy. I was just leaving. Uh oh? Take care of yourself and uh, stay out of trouble, right? Okay. And put that, don't frame him, make him wear it, all right? Oh, I'm sure he will. Got a good head on his shoulder, big guy. Take care of him. See you later, Sly. Talk Bye. to you later, okay? Keep in touch, all right? See you later. All right, we'll Thanks. see you later. Yeah. Wow. Cool, huh? Yeah. So, uh, what'd you guys talk about? Um, Dad, you wouldn't understand. So it was a little too technical. Oh. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. So, okay, honey, what's the big surprise? So, okay, close your eyes and be patient for a change. Come on, come on. <laughs> okay, now you can open them. Open them. What's that? What does it say? The top, read the Plaza top. Plaza Hotel. Who closed Did you work? Dear Dr. Jones, this letter will confirm your two-night reservation in our luxury suite Aww. and the two fifth-row <laughs> center tickets to the Will Rogers Follies you requested that cost me a million dollars. We trust you and your wife will enjoy your stay. What oh, do you think? honey, that's incredible. That's not all. After the show, fixed it up. We're going to take a handsome cab. You know, the guy with the horses and the carriage and all that stuff. We're going to go over to the Tavern on the Green. We'll hopefully eat a really good dinner, but it's a beautiful place, trust me. And then we're going to get in that cab, wrap ourselves up in blankets, and we're going to go around mm -hmm. Central Park and maybe mug somebody. I don't know. Thank you. It sounds wonderful. When are we going? A week from today. Two beautiful days and hot, sexy nights in New York. 20 million people in us. A week from today? Mm -hmm. Next Thursday? Problems? No problems. I talked to the hospital. We're off. Uh, well, I know. Um, but I'm sorry. I can't go next Thursday. What do you mean you can't go? You gotta go. This is what we've talked about. Well, I know, honey. I... I really wish you would have told me what dates you were thinking of. Well, I, I wanted to surprise you. I, th I thought you wanted a surprise. Well, I, I love surprises. I mean, I, I do. I just... I'm, I'm really sorry. This is Joseph Atkins. That's what this is about, isn't it? Look, I, when I made the plans, I had absolutely no idea that the date was going to conflict. But I did give my word that I was going up to Attica to visit with Joseph Atkins next week. Boy, this is great. This is really great, you know? You can just put that off. We can you can make that plan some other time. Well, honey, I, um... Technically, I probably could, except then that would be my second no-show. And I really don't think I should do that, because special arrangements had to be made, and... Well, you know, it just, it might be easier if we could just 
Just postpone the pleasure. No, I've got an even better idea. This is just fine. You know, we'll just skip this. Oh, Tony, come on, honey, don't do that. No, you know something. Don't you don't have that. your priorities straight, and you've got to get them straight. Isn't it good news, sir? I mean, about Miss Tracy and the baby. Oh, yes, yes, that's fantastic. I'm glad to hear that. Um, tell me, is, uh, is Mr. Hornsby around? Well, I just took tea up to their room. I can get him for you if you like. No, 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 I'm sorry. You can wait. I'm sorry for causing such a fuss. Well, it's really not a fuss, Tracy. It's better safe than sorry, don't you think? Besides, Dr. Uh, Burston said you'd be fine in a couple of days. What were you and Ned fighting about? Nothing important will work it out, I assure you. In a civil manner? Tracy, do not worry about this, okay? It was a mild misunderstanding, and I said we'd work it out. I'm sorry, just don't get angry at me, okay? I've had enough for one day. All right, listen, I want you to drink this while it's still hot, okay? Can I have another pillow? Yeah, sure. <clears throat> Another pillow? Are you sure about that? <laughs> I think you got enough pillows. Let me fix this one. Up. Did you forget to shave? No, I didn't forget. Tracy, listen. Um, doctor said you need to rest. All right, I want you to drink the rest of this. <laughs> While it's still hot. And I want you to get some sleep, all right? Where I'm are you going to be? I'm sleep downstairs. I've got some work to do. I don't want you to do that. I want you right here with me. Okay, I'll be up later, all right? Great on you. It's a little big, you'll grow into it. Yeah, maybe I could wear it in the surgery. You know, for good luck. Yeah, couldn't hurt to ask. Yeah. Hey, Dad, hmm. thanks for bringing Jim to my room. He's a real neat guy. So are you. So are you, Jelly Bean. What's that? Wow. Hi, <laughs> hi, fly guys. Like <laughs> right. Oh. I. I I mean, oh, that's okay. I could come back tomorrow, actually. No! No, here, here. here. Let me uh, take these before you fly up through the hole in the ozone. Huh. All right. Um, maybe my bed will float away when they come to take my tonsils out. <laughs> Won't be here. <laughs> Thanks, Julie. Dream you're on. welcome, but I don't think that's going to work, but you're welcome. How are you feeling, Phyllis? Okay. Hey, look what Jim Kelly got me. Ooh, the Jim Kelly? Wow, pretty neat, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, maybe I could wear it to the circus. Maybe we could all go. Could we? Well, uh... That might not work out, uh, but we'll see. Okay, we'll see. Listen, I just wanted to stop by and make sure that you were tucked in good before they ended visiting hours, but I should probably get going. Oh, do you have to? Yeah, I'm afraid so, but you'll be cool, kid. Okay. All right. Okay, Julia. Good. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Miss B. <laughs> she sure looked pretty, didn't she, Dad? All right, Cupid, quiver those arrows. Say, it's it's way past your... You, you should have been asleep an hour ago, really. Let's do Oh, uh, Dad. Listen, do you want me to have them pull a cot in here? I could sleep here tonight, you know? Dad, be, I'll be all right. Yeah. You're not a little kid anymore, are you? No. No, you're a... You're a big guy. 
Good night. Good night. This powerful thing is nothing to worry about. Right. Before you know it, it's a cinch that we got. Okay. Well, you, you, you can sleep now? Yeah, catch you later. Okay. Bye. You made him very happy. 